Whether you are creating a flowchart, an organizational chart, a workflow diagram, or one of the tons of other drawing types that you can create in the Microsoft Visio program, at some point you may find the need to number the shapes in your drawing. If only to avoid those situations where you're trying to describe your drawing to someone who may not be in the room with you. Maybe on the telephone. Annoying, huh? Well, there's a button for that. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a built-in tool to number some or all of the shapes in your drawing. Now, it's even such a good tool that you can even customize the numbering schemes to fit your specific use. Now, I'll be back at the end of the video with an additional tool that works really well when you're numbering the shapes. And you can use this tool for other areas of your drawing too. It makes it really, it's really helpful. Uh, in the meantime though, stick around while I show you how to use the numbering shapes tool in Microsoft Visio. To number my shapes in Visio, I'll first need to navigate to the View tab. And then, after moving to the View tab, over to the last option of Add-ons. When I choose the Add-ons feature, I'm given a few options, and the one I'll want to take are Visio Extras. And in the Visio Extras section, we'll see the second option of Numbering Shapes. When the Number Shapes dialog box appears, I have several options for numbering these shapes. The easiest one, of course, is to let the program automatically number all the shapes for you. And I can do that easily by selecting the Auto Number option. And even to the right, I can choose what number to start with. So at 1 or 2 or 3, and I can even control the interval at which the shapes are numbered. So starting at 3 and then changing the number every three. This applies then to all shapes. And when I click OK, the program numbers all of the shapes in my drawing. If I select the shapes using control click and I can even select them in any order. So in this case, I'll go backwards and select the last shape in this group and then hold the control key and click the other two yellow shapes. You'll notice that one of the shapes is a has a darker bold border. And in Visio, the darker border signifies the shape that was first selected. So shapes are selected in order. When I return to the number shapes dialog box, I even have more control over auto numbered shapes. So I'll select auto number, move to the advanced tab, and now I can control even the location of the numbers on that shape. So before the shapes text, after the shapes text, and I can even control how the shapes are numbered based on my selection order. And the shapes are numbered. I can also manually number shapes in the program by selecting manually by clicking. I can also change the starting number and intervals when manually numbering the shapes. I can also create when numbering preceding text. So for example, if I wanted to label steps in a process by putting the word step and then the number afterwards. I can do that just by selecting the preceding text option where I can also create custom text for my shape numbering. And one last thing, if I plan to add more shapes to the drawing, I can continue to number the shapes as they are dropped on the page. So I'll click OK, a box will appear, and in the box it will tell me that I can assign numbers to the shapes simply by clicking them. To stop numbering the shapes, I just click close and it shows me a preview of the first shape 
to be numbered. So I'll select the shape while leaving that dialog box open and number the shapes manually. And when I'm finished, I'll close the dialog box. If you are working with layers in your drawing, the shapes numbering tool can also number shapes on various layers. And that's numbering shapes in Microsoft Visio. So that's a quick way to create a customized numbering scheme in Microsoft Visio drawings. Now, if you have a large drawing, even using the tool is still going to be a lot of work and you're gonna to have to do a lot of zooming in or maybe moving to different areas of the drawings to number the actual uh, shape. But here's a tool that can make that a lot easier and it's called the pan and zoom window. You can get there by going to the view tab then to task pane, and then down to pan and zoom. When the pan and zoom window becomes active, it docks itself in the bottom corner of your drawing, although you can click it and drag it around to other areas. And to use it, you simply just click into it and drag in or out. That will create a small blue box that lets you zoom in or out of your drawing really easily. You can even click into the middle of it and pan to different areas of your drawing without zooming in or out. It's a great tool. I use it for things like numbering shapes, but I also use it for almost every drawing that I create. So I hope you found those two uh, tools helpful and uh, good luck with your use of the Visio program. And until your, our next video, thanks for joining me and I'm Wayne.